blue solenoid looking looking clean hi guys welcome back to another video and this is gonna be a good one because we get to see how much power the mark II makes with all the boost basically when I say all the boost it's not that much probably like you know around like two bar or something but we haven't pushed that much boost through this engine before so I'm quite curious to see what it does my current ethanol content is about 70 percent so we've got a decent amount of timing like 28 degrees in it we're gonna fit the four port boost solenoid and the goal is I'm I was thinking I was gonna go down to a smaller wastegate spring but I think I'm gonna leave it as is because it's the low boost is good as it is it just gives us more room to go up in boost because the limit right now is about 1.9 bar like barely touching 1.9 bar my car is hooting for some reason I don't know why and I that's that's me for I don't know what what's touching but something's touching <laughs> oh well, it doesn't actually work so I have, to, <laughs> I have to check that out so yeah the the nice thing is we can we can throw some more boost at it on top and we'll be able to force the gate shut I'm not sure how that works yet quite curious to see how much more spool we can get out of this turbo as it is by forcing the wastegate shut and yeah this is like I'm currently running an N75 which is a 3 port 3 port has worked well but guys I don't know um, but yeah we're gonna try out the four port apparently boost resolution is not that good on it so that's yeah I'm going to end this because my car is just hooting so I as I was saying the motor was going off and this wiring if you can see that was under this pulley uh, Ethan just spotted that I yeah I wouldn't even have thought to check that but the, that um, this wiring loom was basically caught up in there and it was just being eaten away by the belt we're just going to wrap that up and then try and just keep it keep it out of the way because yeah that's no good okay so that has been been fixed up and it shouldn't be able to get in there anymore so now my motor won't go off I don't need to get this sorted out this is my flex fuel wiring it's a bit uh, janky because it was added after the fact but I need to sort of neaten this up a little bit more so guys this is the the four port Mac valve boost solenoid and Andrew is currently busy doing the wiring things yeah I'm I'm excited I don't know what this is gonna do but I hope that it does everything that I needed to do which is more boost okay so we are going out we're gonna do some testing of the, the foreport on the street to see what it does I don't know if it will hit one bar in second but it might I think it does, I think it, it hits like 1.2 bar Okay, so we'll just do a second gear pull Oh. Just 
tell me we need Eddie. this AGN valve cover I've been wanting this for a while and super sounds nice I uh, got this from Matthew thanks a lot bro this is yeah it's just so much cleaner but I have to open up these coil holes to accept my um, my coils so I'll need to have that machined and then it can go on it should look quite neat so the plugs is the reason why the car is breaking up and there's no stock at the moment, so just putting it back in. Okay, so this is what the Mac valve setup looks like. It feels a little more responsive, but we didn't get an opportunity to, to wrap up. The road was just too busy, and I got a bit distracted. And so we're going to change the spark plugs, and then hopefully we can put on the dyno for some proper fine tuning. But yeah. We are we are making progress. Things are starting to to come together. I haven't done any mods in a while, so time to get back to it. Okay, so I'm picking up this video again. It's been two, three weeks, something like that, between the last update. On my way to J2 now, so hopefully we can get the water meth in. Um, yeah, I didn't mention that in the previous video because that wasn't part of the plan. But I am fitting the water meth kit today, hopefully. Uh, the plugs, and then we can get the, we can dial in the blue solenoid. At the moment, it's like around 1.9, nearly 2 bar. But as you can see, the car is breaking up. So hopefully I'll be able to see some action on the dyno. If not today, hopefully sometime soon. My ethanol content is like 40%. So we won't get to see like a clean what sort of power increase it makes for the water meth. But at least I won't be eth dependent when I race. I can just run the car with robots on on pump and water meth, which would be really good. Going with the massive the massive uh, 10.5 or something liter tank. Oh well, it's a big boy. But yeah, I'll update you guys when I get to the workshop. So this is the 10 point something litre water meth container and it doesn't have the fitting that we need but essentially the pump goes in there and it has a base plate. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, I actually quite like it. I am unsure about location, I don't know if we should try and fit it in there, might be might be a good place or so this is the, the tank that I got it with I don't know I feel like this the spot is probably going to be best ok 
Okay, so tappet cover is coming off and the VVT solenoid will be going on shortly. So, Automath VVT, I am so pumped. It's been a long time coming, like a really long time. Looking, looking clean. Cam lobes are happy. So that's what the VVT solenoid looks like. Just want to show you before we put the um, oil breather hose up back onto it. GTS. I am taking it to the workshop. It's got a bit of a coolant leak and I want to make sure that the car is ready to race tomorrow so I'm just going to go to the workshop check it out. But when I got to the car the rear wheel was flat. So I had to swap out and put an RA in the back and when I put the wheel on I was like cool let me go and then the wheel bolts were too long because this thing has extended wheel bolts. I had to take the wheel back off put a spacer on the wheel bolts are still slightly too long so it's rubbing a little bit but I, I honestly I am so annoyed right now that I'm just pressing on like this it should be fine it's like barely scraping but yeah it's it's okay um, so I was hoping that the GTI would be done but it's not Jamil's waiting for fitting for the water meth kit so yeah this video it's a bit of a sad ending but there's been good progress and the car should be done soon so that would most likely be the next video or the next video would be some of the GTS racing I don't know we'll see I'm trying to not say what I'm doing next because sometimes things just don't work out the way I want it to so anyway I am going to check out the leak and plug this tire that came off the car and put it back on and then the GTS should be ready today. I am currently in the Jazz, I'm just going to take, hopefully the wheel shop is still open because that'll be amazing. Sounds nice, that VTAX. So the tire was leaking at the bead and there was a piece of metal in it so puncture and I had to pull the tire off clean it out put the tire back on yeah it was a long story okay wheel is sorted oh, that was a mission and I need to check out the leak and Andrew is hard at work on the VR swap found the coolant leak it was leaking from here for some reason I don't exactly know why but thankfully it's it doesn't I this thing is torn I don't know I will it doesn't look bad but I should just, yeah let's see if I can just move it over a little bit and tighten it there I think I fixed it dry yeah I think um, I think we are good to go still not ideal but I think it works so, update Jamil's currently busy over there and I, I like that we are using that location it's just a bit tight like I showed you guys before the base plate barely fits it's really dark uh, but anyway that's happening and then we've gone up in size on the boost pipe coal side so it is now currently 57 more to 63 before we would we had a i think it was just 57 all the way through with a um a reducer 
going up to 63 so most of it was 57 now it's most of it is 63 and the uh, water meth nozzle is on there so it's just getting the tank in and then the car should be good to go but we have load shedding soon so no tuning no nothing will be happening so that will be in the next video so Jamil had to replace my nozzle because the nozzle I didn't know that there was something wrong with it anyway replace the nozzle and it's, he says it might take another day or two to get the bottle holder and the rubbers so we might fit it with a smaller bottle I don't know I'm, I don't know if I'm super eager to race it or if I should just chill so I did a ghetto mod on the water leak I hope it holds up I really hope it holds up I will monitor it I'll check now when I get get back home and see if it's okay um, but it's a very slight leak and it probably needs I don't know like some sort of reducer the hose that's on there is a bit too big it works for the turbo side but on the radiator side it's just too big so anyway um, I won't be racing the GTI so it'll just be the GTS at robots Jamil is still waiting for some stuff and I'd rather not rush it because I can't fit the smaller bottle in the race but I'd rather have him just finish it up because then I have to book the car in again to finish it just rather get it done one time and then it's done done so we'll see sometime this week it should be done and you guys will see it in the next video hope you guys enjoyed this video like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys in the next one